Or sometimes you just wonder how people live as long as they have. That guy going down the feeder street down there, he just passed us all doing about 70 and then all of a sudden decides he needs to get off. Woo, and I just slid a little sideways there.
understand it, when I first got out into the market, I was working with, I signed on with Landstar. And the first time you get to pick your own loads, you look at that load board, you see those rates, you just, it's like candy to a baby. And right off the bat, you're not worried about building those relationships. You're just worried about working and making money. But I realized real quickly that those relationships are important. And fortunately, I was raised to treat people with respect or get my ass kicked. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I was raised to say yes, sir, no, sir. <laughs> and uh, if I didn't, but I it just I realized what how important those little things are. And so when I was at Landstar and I started doing my own loads, when I'd call up to negotiate a rate, I wouldn't say, hey, that rate looks pretty shitty. Uh, you're way too low on that and you need to come up to this. That's not the way you negotiate with somebody. That's not the way you build a relationship. If you think about it, that agent lists that load and they probably take it. 30, 40, 50 calls on it um, to try to get it moved. And they do that all day, every day. So think of things from their perspective. When you call, you say, hey, how are you doing? Uh, looking at this load you got listed. You know, just it's the attitude. It's it's about building that relationship. And where that comes in, in you know, into play, it, it's worked so often for me. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't uh, do this thing a lot of guys do where they say, you know, they have this attitude of screw them before they screw you. That's what's wrong with most industries. So there have been a number of times when I've called up uh, about a load, talked to an agent, and they're just in a bad mood. They've taken 100 calls that day, and the shipper is not giving them enough money, and, and you know, they, they, they're they trying to get it moved for what the shipper wants, and I understand that. And so, you know, my first move is not to say, hey, you've got a pretty shitty attitude today. You know, I treat them with, with respect, and if they, you know, I'll give them a rate. If we can't come to an agreement or what have you, I'll just say, oh, you know, thank you for your time. Have a nice day. And that has actually worked several times where I'll just say, hey, thank you for your time and have a good day. I'll hang up the phone and a few minutes later the phone will ring and say, hey, let's let's talk about this. Now, if I'd have been a butthole to them, they probably wouldn't have called me back. But uh, it's the little things. Hey, how are you doing? And actually listening to what they have to say. And that's, that's part that goes into, you know, that's the start of building a relationship. I'm not talking about, you know, how are you, you know, talking about all this personal stuff and their kids and their family and their divorce and, and bringing all that up because, they, like I said, they're taking phone calls all day. Now, unless they just start bringing it up themselves, it's just a natural course of things that uh, you get to know one another through the little things that you talk about. And the way I've always worked these loads, you know, when I book a load, the first thing I'm gonna do is email and say, hey, I'm gonna to try to make it here at 8 a.m. in the morning and start keeping them in the loop of what I wanna do and so they're not out there in the dark, you know, wondering where I'm at. And, you know, if, if I'm not keeping them in the loop, then somewhere in their mind they're going, hey, this guy is not dependable. I don't know where he's at. So I email them and say, I'm gonna be there, you know, my ETA is at 8 a.m. And when I get there, I say, hey, I'm here, I'm picking up this load right now. My ETA to drop it off is 1 p.m. When I get there to the drop off, I'll say, hey, I'm here dropping it off now. Thank you so much for the work, appreciate your time. Done. So, you know, a few simple emails. I don't have to call anybody or talk to anybody unless they you know, want it that way. But I like to leave that email trail and keep it light, good attitude. And so that may seem simple and you, you know, you might not want to go out of your way. You might have a bad attitude or what have you, <clears throat> but that works. And so 
that's the start of building that relationship. And then so many times after doing that job, keeping that agent in the loop and in their minds, they know, hey, I don't have to worry about this guy. He's, he's, uh, he's motivated. He's keeping me in the loop. I've gotten calls from agents saying, hey, you ran that load for me the other day. You did a good job. I'm wondering if you're you know, interested in doing it again. And so that I get the repeat uh, work like that without having to look on the load boards. I've done that quite a few times, and especially under my own authority. It's so nice to get that email saying, hey, William, I, you did this load for me the other day. You interested in doing it again? And if you are, I've got this other load, you know, that sort of thing. It just, it blossoms. And that's the main reason I'm on this account that I'm on now, and I have first choice in the loads that come out. <clears throat> um, what also has happened is there are a couple of agents who are fairly new to the business, and I'll get calls from them saying, hey, this shipper is trying to move this load what do you think is a fair price and what should I uh, put on there? You know, it might be something, uh, some kind of crazy shipment or something. And about once every week or two weeks, I'll get a call from a, a few different agents just asking me uh, what rate they should put on it, what would be fair, you know, and, or if they need to move it real quick, what kind of rate can they put on it? And that's, that's it's a fun conversation. And it might, sometimes it leads to me saying, hey, I'll, I'll do it for this price and I'll go ahead and take the load from them. But uh, yeah, just it's the it's all about attitude. And if you've got a bad attitude, then that relationship's gonna go downhill. If you're impatient with somebody, then you know you're you're always planting images in their mind of who you are by what you do. So I always want them to have, uh, you know, when that email hits their desk, or, you know, their desktop, and they say, oh, that was from William. The first thought, I want to always be positive. I don't want to say, oh, shoot, that's that guy again. You know, he's always late, or, you know, he's always got something bad to say, or asking for more money, or something. Because <coughs> that's, that's not what you want. You want a positive relationship and for instance this account that I'm on now it's it's one near my house it pays pretty good uh, it's not the greatest thing ever but it's convenient it's very very convenient and um, so I started booking this thing I found it on, on the load board and then I went to their actual website and that's where I started booking these loads for the first couple of months well about a month and then at some point the agent would call or I would call the agent and ask for information and just had I always kept up that positive attitude. And then about a month into it, that's when I got a call from the agent saying, hey, this is my account. Are you interested in doing this every week? And boom, it just started like that. And he actually told me he enjoyed working with me because of my attitude. Um, and I still, to this day, Every single load that I finish, I put on the or, you know, thank you uh, very much because I'm appreciative. I don't have to think about this anymore. If I don't want to do it one week, I, I, you know that's one of the things I talk to them about. It's like, you know, I'd love to have this thing every week, but I'm not that guy that's going to run it every single day, nonstop. You know, don't think about it. I said I'd like to take a few days off here and there. And he was perfectly fine with that. That's, to me, that's one of the things I was worried about on some of these dedicated accounts. They want somebody to be there every single day, no questions asked. And uh, that's why I, I, I had uh, jumped on some of these dedicated accounts because I'm not that guy. I don't want to. Uh, it seems monotonous to me to just do the same thing over and over and over and over. But. When I talked to this agent, he was cool with it. He said, yeah, that's, that's fine. He goes, I have no trouble moving them. Um, just enjoyed working with you, and I want to offer you the loads first. Hey, that's how it works. It starts with planting those positive images 
doing the little things, doing things right, and always trying to be early instead of just on time, and taking care of problems before they become problems. But that's it. That's uh, you know that's the importance of building those relationships. Um, and it's so easy to do. Just stay positive, and uh, good things.